What's going on boys and today we're gonna be taking on the blue Narius event with uh, Pat as our hero and we're also gonna be doing normal mode because I haven't unlocked elite yet but let's just get straight into it man all right so personally I honestly don't think Pat is gonna do that much so we're just gonna start off with a sub and then just save up for a monkey farm because honestly we're gonna need one uh, we really need to make tons of money because I really hate this boss and it requires lots of money output <laughs> like you need a lot of money but i think i'll be able to do it it shouldn't be that hard i don't think at least <laughs> that's all we can hope we're just gonna put down banana farm instantly and then now we're gonna go for the next sub i think yeah because some balloons are gonna start to pass and then we're gonna go for another sub uh which should be pretty light because they're super cheap but yeah let's just do that Alright, well, we got our second sub now because they're insanely cheap, and now we're just going to start going for increased production on the banana farm, and I think we're just going to keep going for money, honestly. Alright, well, we just got greater production, but now I don't really know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go with an engineer monkey from here because they can be extremely useful late game, and just for popping all the balloons that Bilinarius puts out, and then we're going to go for a banana farm right after, once we get enough money, because... Banana plantation costs a little bit too much for us right now, which I would rather just go for another banana farm So we're just gonna stick with that All right boys, so I just got the next banana farm Which is very helpful and we're just gonna go for greater production again Just because it's way better than all the other paths that you can start off with just because it makes us tons more bananas And then next I'm gonna go I'm gonna I might get a sniper. I might upgrade the engineer I'm, I'm just gonna have to see what I what, what's rocking right now because uh, there are tons of like overpowered balloons happens in this mode so I don't know yeah so I'm just gonna decide to go with uh, what's it called I'm just gonna s decide to go with uh, upgrading the engineer monkey right now and I'm gonna place on a banana farmer so I don't have to focus on that and we're just gonna go for double guns just because it's super helpful in the early game and then if we want to pivot from that we could easily just sell it but I think this is the best way to go right now all right, man. Now, I now honestly, I think our defense is good enough with engineer monkeys that we're just gonna go for tons of farms with just greater production. Because honestly, I just feel like that's the easiest way to go right now. So we're definitely just gonna do that, and then uh, I'll think about what we should do next. But I think that's fine for now. But we're definitely, gonna, I feel like we're definitely gonna be able to beat this boss. It should be light work. I don't think this boss is gonna be that hard. But let's just keep going with it, man. I'm just going to get a ton of farms, and then I'll get back to you guys once I'm done with that. Alright, boys. So we just got down six farms, and I'm just going to think about what we should do next. If we should start upgrading these farms, if we should get more farms down, or if we should just start upgrading our defense. So Alright, boys. So I think we're just going to go with farms for now. But because round 28 leads are coming, I'm definitely just going to go for a full metal jacket really quick and put it on strong so then we could get some lead poppage but then for now i'm just gonna start upgrading farms to markets place because it increases the amount of bananas you get by a ton and i definitely think we should just go for that so yeah let's just gonna start with going with that all right so yeah uh we just defeated the camo i mean the lead round with the full metal jacket sniper we got two marketplaces down right now we're gonna go for one more and then we're gonna upgrade the sniper a little bit just so it gets more lead defense because i don't think one singular shot is gonna stop another whole lead round so we're just gonna save up a little get marketplace and then go for a shrapnel shot and i think and we're gonna put this on camo detection so it focuses on the camos but also gets the lead so now we should all right boys so I'm just gonna go for a Jude of Jungle just to like, kind of hold off all these balloons because they're getting pretty far. We're also gonna get hard thorns just so it does more damage. And now we're gonna start going for all the other marketplaces just so that we get lots more money production. And yeah, let's I'll see you guys then. All right, boys. So I'm gonna go with a sticky bomb uh, just to start taking down the uh, whatever it's called, the Blunarius. And then we're gonna go for a boomerang monkey to clean up after all the balloons we're gonna go for an alchemist to buff the boomerang monkey and i definitely mess up these uh banana farms i feel like if i placed them up here it would have been better but uh yeah so we're just gonna go for this 
we're definitely gonna go for let me see what was it yeah sticky bomb ninja discipline for more range then we're gonna go for sticky bomb bottom path to start taking down the blunarius quickly and then this uh boomerang monkey is gonna help clean up all right boys so we're gonna go for a more glaives to clean up after the fact once all the balloons are breaking we're gonna go for an alchemist to help buff up this uh whatever it's called this boomerang monkey and then i think i don't really know what i'm gonna do after i might go for some kind of bomb shooter or something to take out even more of the cleanup sadly i might have to delete a farm which is really tough but let me just think about it for a second if i should sell this farm uh i'll if i could find a placement just give me a second all right boys so i'm definitely i'm gonna sell this in the middle of the round and get down a recur a cluster bomb heavy bomb and then i feel like it'll be fine from there i just gonna i'm just gonna need to place on another banana farm but hopefully it doesn't f up my money too bad but if you guys are following this guide place your banana farms up here please and don't place them down here because it will kind of mess up your money just a little bit but i think we'll be fine so i'm gonna start the round I'm gonna get a little bit of money off this and then I'm gonna sell this I'm gonna go for a bomb shooter with cluster bombs I don't know if I yeah I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stay with cluster bombs I should be fine to clean that up and then I'm gonna eventually go for a plutonium reactor just because it's very good and this is being taken down like we thought it would and yeah oh shoot I forgot to place down the banana farm so just remember to place down the banana farm and I messed up the banana farm. Oh my gosh, everything is going wrong. So yeah, we should be fine. I'm going to go for the plutonium reactor right now just to clean up. And there you go. Tier one popped. Uh, I don't know if I messed up the money too much, but hopefully we're fine. I think we're going to be good. So boys, we just sold all of our defenses that we don't need anymore. Um, and we are gonna get down a wizard monkey for extra defense pretty sure we're gonna go for a central market uh, But yeah, just let me think about it really quick to see if what should we uh, Get some more money if we should upgrade our wizard monkey But that was pretty easy with the extra the new boss is gonna be a lot harder So we just got to focus on that and also make sure you go for heat tip darts on this so pop slides I'll be right back Alright boys, so, uh, yeah, also, upgrade this guy to a monkey sense, so it pops camos, I forgot to do that. And now we're just gonna go for an alchemist to buff this guy up. We're gonna give him Strongest Stimulant with Perishing Potions, just to really buff this guy up. I don't, uh, and then we're gonna go for just a Monkeyopolis, uh, to get super rich. Yeah, so, I decided that we're just gonna go for a Monkeyopolis, we're gonna place him right here, bigger range jungle drums, and then... We have enough for city requires banana farm. You don't need to. Uh, you don't need to get it super overpowered. I'm just gonna place a random banana farm. Sell one of your farms if you need to, and then monkeyopolis just to get that going. So then we're, now we're gonna start placing all of these farms in range of the monkeyopolis, uh, just to get uh, super buffed farms everywhere. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go for more marketplaces. Just just so you guys know. Yeah, so we're just gonna do lots of uh, just getting tons of uh, marketplaces and then just keep placing as many as you can in the range and we're gonna go on auto start just for a little bit now just so we yeah so we're just gonna go from now on just to fill up the literally the entire map with just tons of uh, marketplaces and then just I'm gonna stop like one or two rounds before the boss comes and then we're gonna just build our defense so yeah Alright boys, so we're gonna need to go for a, because the boss spawns super soon, we're just gonna get a favored trades, and we're gonna go for hot shots, so it gets uh, camo leads once the boss spawns, and for favored trades, we're also gonna get it so we get more money, obviously, which is what this whole thing is about, uh, and I'll see you guys once the boss spawns, or the round before it. I was thinking and we're honestly just gonna go for a spear of the forest which it should be take which should take care of t all of the balloons that the boss spawns and then we're also just gonna go for an MAD which should help pop the boss in general and that should be enough to take it down uh, but yeah 
I'll see you guys once the boss spawns. Just once you're in this position, just keep saving up till you get a Spirit of the Forest. And then we're going to sell this banana farm right here just so we can put down a MAD. And we're going to take down the boss just like that. Alright boys, so we're going to go with this. We're going to sell this and we're going to go for an MAD. We're going to place this right here. And then we're going to go, I think, uh, hmm, what? I'm going to go with the top path. So we're just going to go like this. We're going to go th for the MAD. And then now we're just going to save up. We're going to keep popping our abilities just so you guys remember to pop your abilities once you can. Uh, this should be fine. No worries. Uh, we're going to wait. Once we get the MAD, it's going to absolutely mow down the boss. We might even... Nah, I'm not going to sell anything. We don't need to. It's getting a little far, which is a little worrying. But now we got the MAD. And then now we're just going to use the ability. And the boss goes down in like half a second. Uh, this is definitely the way to go. Just get a MA mad, and then the Spirit of the Forest takes down all the other balloons, and that's tier 2 popped. Let's sell the MAD. We don't need this sniper anymore, obviously. And now let's just go for tons of central markets. That should be good enough, uh, for farming, and I'll see you guys once the next boss is about to spawn. Just keep upgrading all your banana farms to central markets, and that absolutely should be enough, uh, until the boss spawns. Alright, boys, so... Uh, once you get all, once you get to the round right before it spawns, obviously you, you you're gonna place down a monkey village right here, and then we're gonna go for an MAD, a ray of doom, and a flying fortress, and a permabrew, and all of that should be enough to easily take down the uh, the boss. But we're just gonna find out. We're gonna place down everything in range, so then. An MA, so then we have enough for a Perma Brew, MAD, Ray of Doom, and we're going to lock all of it. So we're going to go for the MAD. We're going to lock that over here. And then we're going to go for the Ray of Doom. And then, uh, fast right there. And then we're going to lock this right here. And then we're going to go for a Flying Fortress. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, and we're also going to go for a, hmm, I don't think it really matters. We're going to go for a spy plan. And then we're going to go for a perma brew, faster throwing. So perma brew, faster throwing. And then that's all you need to be able to beat the boss. Uh, I don't think these need to be unlocked. But get an energizer just because. Super helpful. And then, yeah, now you guys can watch the fight. Again, this boss fight is super easy once you have all this stuff. And then we're going to have tons of money in the bank for the last two boss fights, which should be super easy. But yeah, just enjoy. Alright, with destroying the tier 3, I will show you guys what we need to do after. So we're just going to keep the same uh, setup until round 100. This is the maximum way we can get money. And we're just gonna wait and I'll see you guys then you can turn auto start on we obviously don't need this and uh, Yeah, I'll tune in with you guys the second that we start uh, The final tier 4 and tier 5. It's the same setup, so it, it's not gonna be that hard But yeah, I'll tune in. I'll see you guys in a second Anyways, So now we're gonna go sell everything once you get to this stage literally everything don't worry about I'll, I'll show you guys, don't worry. We're just gonna go for a Sun Temple or whatever it's called. Fully maxed out. Place on other things, and yeah. Alright, boys, so we're just gonna put down a Sun Avatar. We're gonna get Engineer Monkey, maxed out Ultra Boost. We're gonna go Alchemist, Perma Brew, Bloom Crush, Bomb Shooter, Super Maelstrom. We could give it to a Sun Temple. Now we're just gonna do almost the same exact thing. Alright, boys, so once we have this. We have the Sun Temple, obviously. We're going to place down a Apache Prime in the top. We're going to place down a Comanche Defender. And we're going to go for Ultra Boost, a uh, Super Storm Druid, a Perma Brew Alchemist, a S Super Maelstrom Tax Shooter, Bloom Crush Bomb Shooter, a uh, 
and a balloon solver, then you can upgrade to the true sun god. Once you do that, you could go epic range because we're gonna need the range. And then, yeah, I'll show you guys the next thing in a second. We're gonna place on another sun avatar down here in the corner. We're gonna get an uh, ultra boost. We're gonna go for perma brew. We're gonna go for super maelstrom. And we're gonna go for boom crush. Then we're gonna upgrade this to sun temple. Uh, super range again, obviously, and then... Alright boys, so we really just wanted to use all of our money. So, uh, once we're in the stage, we really just put down a lot of stuff that does a lot of damage. We almost, so you want to put all these super monkeys last because, uh, you just want to use up all the rest of the money. So, you want to put down a super brittle deep freeze and embrittlement, and then a permabrew alchemist with faster throwing so it can hit all these. Then we have a carrier flagship hot ship right here. We have an energizer airburst. This is going to be able to take tier 4 and 5, by the way. We have Apache Prime up here, Pursuit Comanche Defender, Sky Shredder Centered Path, Flying Fortress. Then we have a Mad with an Eraser of Doom. We have a Cripple Moab right here. We And right here, we're hiding behind. We have a Glue Storm Glue Gunner. And we have the Sun Temple right here. And this should be able to take down everything. If you guys have a, uh, what's it called? A tech bot, definitely get it because then you could put it onto the glue storm. So then automatically uses it. And then also another one just for the mad. They're super cheap and you might want to do it. And might as well get one more just for the, uh, to homeland defense and yeah this is gonna be enough to take down everything uh tier four and five we start the round here uh obviously it's gonna get destroyed and it's gonna be the exact same thing to tier five so yeah thank you guys for watching drop a like and subscribe uh please subscribe it's insanely helpful these videos take lots of time this is like my fifth time trying it uh so yeah thank you guys for watching and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time